Uh, this, as the Federal Reserve just released about 50 minutes ago, minutes from the June policy meeting, which shows that Fed officials are still remaining cautious about raising interest rates in the wake of Britain's decision to exit the EU. They, when they had that meeting, that we had not had, of course, uh, the Brexit vote, but they did say that it was prudent for them to, to keep an eye on things. Curious what they think about it now. Uh, let's bring in Kaltbaum Capital Management President Gary Kaltbaum. Gary, I, we, I do want to talk about the Fed minutes and about economic policy, but first off, can we start with something positive, Gary? Just you and me, just us talking. Uh, the Mets are playing much better baseball these but days. The That's Mets for starters. Are, the, the Mets are doing great. But guess what else? I was looking at the 30 year fixed uh, mortgage this morning 3.27%. Uh, 3 so people like you should go out and buy more houses. That's well, what we look, start it, with. It, it, is very, it is great that interest rates are lower. It is great that gas prices are lower. It is an expense cut for business. It's an expense cut for consumer. Uh, to me, not, nothing bad happens unless it's actually telling you something about which way the economy is going. And, and look, the good news for me is that we had the Brexit and the market bought, brought it back up like no problem whatsoever. And it just feels like there's a floor underneath because what the easy money policies that continue not only here but uh, around the globe just insane why are we so volatile and so sensitive uh, markets around the world but really here in the US to things that, that seem to be such one-offs I mean look we had a global sell-off talk of recession around the world after the Brits decided to leave the EU and here we are back in, in strong territory. You know, that uh, makes people, I think, nervous and, and uneasy about putting money into stocks when you see this kind of thing happening. Well, over Brexit and over. didn't help, but uh, for me, the volatility comes from the never ending talk out of central banks around the globe, the never ending printing of money. And, you know, I remember we went to 0% interest rates and I said, well, we can't go lower than that. And boom, they went into negative rates. So as long as that talk keeps on occurring, yelling, uh, Draghi in Europe, the Corroda from Japan. We're going to see a lot of volatility. Uh, and, and look, it's never ending. The good news is, as I said, they're going to be easy forever. They are never, ever going to tighten. They can't tighten. Or I think look out below, and I think they know it. And, it, and look, it's been propping up markets for a long while right now. Uh, damn the torpedoes, as they say. Well, but think of what markets could be today if we didn't have so much uh, bank intervention from around the world. Central banks, many critics say, have done nothing but give us a false sense of, of security. And then when you do have something like the Brits leaving the EU or, or pick another global event, off we go. So, so maybe they do need to step aside. And, and why is our Fed so focused on what's happening overseas? How about the jobs? Well, I think they know that if the markets get hit, it's going to expose a lot. We have more debt and leverage in the system now than in 08. And the amount of derivatives, remember that word derivatives that everybody was complaining about in 08, uh, times it by two or three how much is out there right now. So that is the big issue. You have all this buying back of stock at higher prices by companies because of the low rates. I just think there's a bubble created here. And look, we may go to 30,000 Dow before it pops, but leave no doubt. Out, it's going to pop, and I think what you're seeing in gold right now is telling you a little bit of that. And by the way, gold and silver right now, and fuego, and I think there's a lot more to go uh, in, in that group. You think? What do you think gold's going to do? I'm sorry. I, I think gold is going much higher. Much higher. I think it's extended here near near term probably does some pulling in first, but it just looks to me uh, there's a big buy in it and, and silver mm -hmm. as well. And the gold and silver stocks much stronger than the metals. Gary, I only got about 30 seconds, but I have to ask you: Is part of the market uneasy, uneasiness? Uh, the election. Oh, look, of course. I mean, uh, look what's happened just the last few days. You know, we have an outlier in uh, Donald Trump, and I'm not going to say what I think of Hillary Clinton. I think uh, Comey said it all yesterday, and I think there's worry about both of them by markets. And as we get closer, I think the markets will be Ooh. gyrating like crazy. Wow. Uh, welcome to my world. Oh, Gary Calvert, I like your world, and it was great to have you on the show. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Great.